Black. Can you talk? Good. I'm gonna see him now. You still on board? Oh, I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know, call it instinct. Speak later. Hmm. Memory glitch is becoming more and more frequent. Well, I say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. I was black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore. What have I done? My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Radiation, which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you could help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. And do you? I think you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks.
Dr. Ramsey, you've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see... When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've... seen this. Then why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price, within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse, 
You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. I'm very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I have a plan that I know will work. I have people in mind who I know will help. I don't want your money. I want your manpower and your resources. I'll be in charge and I'll take down Ramsey from the inside. In return, I'll get you Ramsey's Pandora tech. You do exactly as I say or there's no deal. So it was you. I trusted you, Black. I gave you work and paid you well. And this is how you repay me. After all we've been through together. Everything that happened to my family. To Grace. It was all because of you. My own employee. Well, you're not so imposing a figure now, are you, Mr. Black? Nothing but a vegetable in my basement. I could do whatever I want. And there would be nothing you could do about it. Well, fuck you, Black. Fuck you to hell. You were dead when you came in here, and there's no way I can let you go now. You were the architect of my downfall. Perhaps ending you is a mercy I will come to regret. I will find out in time. Goodbye, Cole Black. Doctor. I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards! I know. My child, I... I know I did! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I was a fool. <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a doubt. Let me show you. Did everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this 
this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I, we just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. And as for you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gambling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you. Come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying either. I got it wrong, Grace. And I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right. But I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you... I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed.